In the 1970s, Black Sabbath's influence was unmatched, but Ozzy Osbourne experienced a twinge of irritation when Van Halen began opening for them. Despite Sabbath's rising prominence, they were initially viewed with skepticism by their contemporaries. While many artists appreciated the darker tones in music, Osbourne's distinctive vocal style alongside Tony Iommi's riffs was often dismissed as an overblown blues act aimed at shocking audiences. Despite the blues influences in their sound, Sabbath's music was far from a mere gimmick. Iommi was on the brink of pioneering a new genre, and Eddie Van Halen, observing from afar, took note of their innovative approach. Van Halen's early performances included playing Sabbath's Lord of This World among their original tracks, showcasing Eddie's interest in heavy riffs. When Van Halen joined Sabbath on tour, Geezer Butler observed that David Lee Roth began emulating Osborne's style, which annoyed Ozzy. Roth's tendency to mimic Osborne's onstage antics led to tensions, as it seemed like an imitation rather than genuine creativity. Furthermore, Eddie Van Halen's extended guitar solos caused friction, with Tony Iommi eventually addressing the issue. However, limiting Eddie's solos was akin to asking the Beatles to have only Ringo Starr sing all the songs. Solos were integral to Van Halen's identity, and no headliner could alter that fundamental aspect. Eddie's skills and reputation as a guitarist were solidifying, and attempts to curtail his solos were futile. The contrast between Osborne's imposing presence and Roth's energetic performance was stark. Osborne had a commanding stage presence, but Roth balanced his role as a frontman with being an energetic entertainer, creating a vibrant and engaging experience for audiences. Ultimately, any frustration Osborne may have felt over Roth's mimicry was eventually set aside. Osborne's bandmates, particularly Iommi, developed a close friendship with Eddie Van Halen, maintaining a mutual respect throughout their careers. While Osborne might have felt slighted, any efforts to diminish Van Halen's success were already doomed to fail, given their undeniable impact and growing acclaim.